This is all based on the video by Nighthawk in Lights. This has to be one of the best things I've ever seen made on YouTube. It's also one of the easiest. All you need is some clear vinyl tube and a self-igniting propane torch. I found two different types of propane torches. For the one on the left, the gas mixes at the tip of the nozzle. For the one on the right, the gas mixes with air at its base. Both of these work well for the first thing I'm doing, but the one on the right works better for the things you'll see later in the video. The tip of this torch is a bit thinner than the tubing, so a few layers of electrical tape got it to a snug fit. From there, it's as simple as connecting the two, letting a little bit of gas flow, and then igniting it. I then swapped over the torches, but as I said before, both of these work fairly well for this part. You can then make all sorts of patterns with it. At the end of the tube, if you put a plastic bottle with a few holes in it, it'll get a bit of a flash and a bit of a bang out of it. I then figured if a flame's running along the tube, I could probably use this to light something at a distance. I found a piece of copper pipe that was almost a snug fit, just needing a little bit of electrical tape to get it perfect. This seemed to work with a few little flames popping out the end. I then got a rag and put a bit of kerosene on it to see if I could get that to light. But I hadn't really thought this through too well. I then tried to copy the Backyard Scientist and make it into a golf ball cannon. This worked really well for ping pong balls, but I had made the chamber too small to shoot golf balls or tennis balls properly. This combustion chamber is less than half the size of the one the Backyard Scientist used, so I'll have to make another one when I get a chance. But for the time being, it's great fun shooting ping pong balls and probably a bit safer too. Yikes. Completely destroyed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.